Welcome all. In this lecture, we will discuss about transfer function of rotational mechanical systems. So, for modeling rotational mechanical system, we are considering three main elements: moment of inertia, spring, dashboard, or damper. In case of transfer mechanical system, we are uh, we were considering mass, spring, and dashboard. So, uh, in rotational, we are considering moment of inertia, spring, and dashboard. So, firstly, consider moment of inertia. So, uh, say the element mass element has having moment of inertia j then we are applying a torque in this uh, clockwise direction so there will be an angular displacement theta in the same direction so this uh, element will oppose the uh, applied torque by a equivalent opposite torque tj which is equal to j alpha where alpha is the uh, acceleration rotational acceleration so acceleration acceleration and angular displacement theta is uh, related to that alpha is equal to d square theta by d square so dj is equal to j d square theta by d square again t is equal to tj so we can write as t is equal to j d square theta by d t square <coughs> similar to mass here it is uh, j into d square theta by d t square where j is the moment of inertia of the um, total volume then element is uh, next element is spring so uh, we are applying a rotational torque t so there will be a angular displacement theta there will be a uh, opposing torque tk which is equal is proportional to theta angular displacement then uh, tk equal to k theta then t equal to tk it will be equal to k theta so for spring the equation is torque equation is t is equal to k theta where theta is the angular displacement then for dashboard uh, b is the coefficient of friction then here t is the torque applied it is clockwise direction theta is the angular displacement then uh, tb is the opposing force which is proportional to angular velocity omega omega is equal to d theta by dt and uh, tb equal to b d theta by dt then t is equal to tb which will give b equal to d theta by dt so next we can find the transfer function of rotational mechanical system so uh, in case of linear system it was x was the displacement it was linear so it is uh, here in rotation it is uh, rotational motion rotation motion so the applied torque is d or t of t and theta 1 is the displacement of j1 and theta 2 is the displacement of j2 so uh, theta 2 of s you are taking as output t of t is the input so we have to find the transfer function as theta 2 of s by t of s so free body diagram of uh, first j1 the applied torque is theta of t t of t torque is t of t and uh, the uh, opposing force will be first one uh, j1 d square theta 1 by dt square due to this moment of inertia j1 then this uh, k1 so k is uh, on both uh, masses j1 and j2 so it will be theta 1 minus theta 2 then next b12 so b12 into it is attached to both uh, j1 and j2 so theta 1 minus theta 2 <coughs> for j2 uh, there is no applied torque so this side is 0 then uh, in clockwise direction in anti-clockwise direction it is uh, first one j2 d square theta 2 by dt square moment of inertia of this j2 then due to this uh, k theta 2 minus theta 1 since it attached to j2 and j1 again uh, b12 d by dt of theta 2 minus theta 1 then this one this is only attached to this this reference so only attached to j2 so b d theta 2 by dt first we can write the torque balance equation of j1 so this side t of t and uh, another side these three equations so j1 d square theta 1 by dt square k theta 1 minus theta 2 b12 d by dt of theta 1 minus theta 2 so we can take laplace then t of t become t of s this become s into this uh, s square theta 1 of s here theta 1 of s here theta 2, theta 2 of s here d by dt so s into theta 1 of s minus s into theta 2 of s <coughs> and we can write theta 1 of s from this equation let it be equation 1 and from uh, for torque balance equation of j2 uh, there is now torque applied to 0 this side and this side j2 d square theta 2 by dt square <coughs> then b12 term k theta 2 minus theta 1 and b d theta, d theta 2 by dt 
taking the place we can write uh, s square theta 2 of s here s theta 2 of s minus s theta 1 of s theta 2 of s minus theta 1 of s here theta 2 of s <coughs> then by equation number one and equation number two is this one so uh, rearranging this we can write theta 2 of s terms as j2 s square b12 here b12 s and uh, b here then here k theta 2 of s theta 1 of s term is this one b12 s and k I substitute theta 1 from this equation from equation 1 <coughs> so it become like this here it is theta 1 theta 1 is substituted as from this equation then we can multiply this by b1 to s plus k so it become like this here it become b1 to s plus k into t of s here b1 to s plus k whole square then we can take this theta 2 of time it this side so this become plus here and we can multiply here so common uh, number to be common both sides so you can cancel and this term j1 square plus b1 to s plus k theta 2 of s plus this term equal to t of s term then we can directly find uh, the output theta 2 of s by t of s transfer function as this one so this is the method for finding a transfer function of a rotational mechanical system so by this we can find the decision thank you